Ever heard of Thulium? If not, you're about to win a future trivia night. It's one of the rarest rare earths found in monazite sands. Minerals with sci-fi names uses Roundup, 1. Portable X-rays, 2. Precise medical lasers, 3. Lamps that glow a crisp sky blue. Underdog element number 69 on the periodic table. Nice. History time. 1879 per Theodore Cleave. Same guy who discovered element 67, holmium, was analyzing erbium. Guess what? It was a new element. He named it thulium after Thule, ancient Scandinavia. Problem? Thulium hides with its lanthanide cousins and refuses to be singled out. Enter Charles James in the early 1900s. Massive fractional crystallization. Later, modern ion exchange and solvent extraction made it way easier. So why care? Thulium-170, the radioactive isotope, is a compact source of X-rays, great for portable radiography and field inspections, where bulky machines aren't practical. Lasers, thulium-doped fiber lasers, they fire in the 2 micron range. Water absorbs that wavelength, so the energy stays shallow and controlled. Translation, clean cuts, less collateral damage. Lighting add thulium iodide to metal halide lamps to get that sharp blue tone. Perfect for specialty lighting and stage effects. Science bonus, thulium salts can glow blue under UV. Researchers study thulium for magnetochloric cooling and for advanced materials. Telecom, thulium doped fiber amplifies around the two micrometer band. Niche, but growing. Is it rare? Yep. One of the scarcest stable lanthanide in Earth's crust, mostly recovered as a byproduct when refining other rare earths, especially from ion adsorption clays in southern China. So next time someone flexes with gold facts, hit them with thulium, the stealth MVP of portable x-rays and precision lasers. If you learned something new, tap like, smash subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss the next element deep dive. I've got more atomic secrets coming up. See you in the next one.